Fruit trees produce many flowers each year. If they're all allowed to develop, each fruit will be small and branches would break due to the weight of so many fruit. So fruit thinning is done. Thinning involves removing flowers or small fruit and leaving a predetermined amount of fruit on each branch. Those that remain will grow into quality fruit of a good size. There are three types of thinning. Chemical thinning, mechanical thinning and hand thinning. In this segment we're going to have a look at the process of chemical thinning. Chemical thinning involves spraying chemical thinning agents onto the trees in an orchard using a blower spray machine. Most chemical thinning agents cause the weaker flowers and fruit on the tree to abort and fall off the tree and the stronger fruit will remain on the tree. Chemical thinning is mostly done on apples. Very little is done for pears and chemical thinning is practically non-existent for stone fruit. The main advantages of chemical thinning are labour saving, increased fruit size and the insurance of a regular crop every year due to the early removal of flowers and fruit. As one tractor can spray the thinning agent onto an orchard very quickly, the cost saved in labour expenditure is significant. Chemical thinning can be completed earlier than hand thinning and with the smaller fruit removed all nutrients can be used by the remaining fruit at an earlier stage. The mature fruit will be larger than the fruit on the trees that were thinned by hand. Chemical thinning helps to ensure a regular crop, decreasing the biannual bearing habit of many cultivars. In South Africa, chemical thinning usually only performs 50 to 60 percent of the total thinning job. It is generally followed up with hand thinning. Many factors influence the effectiveness of chemical thinning agents. The condition of the tree. Trees are easy to overthin when fruit spurs are high in vigor or on lower shaded inside branches. Where the moisture and nitrogen supply is inadequate. Where the root systems are weakened by physical damage or disease or woolly apple aphid damage. Excessively heavy bloom, especially after a heavy crop the year before. The tree's reserves may have been depleted by the previous year's heavy crop. A heavy bloom will exhaust it even further. Young trees are easier to thin. Poor pollination resulting in a low seed count on the tree are easier to thin. It's easier to thin trees that set many fruit per cluster. One may easily overthin cultivars that set only one or two fruit per cluster. Ideal temperatures for chemical thinning are between 22 and 27 degrees. Chemical thinning agents do not work at low temperatures. High temperatures and high humidity after spraying enhance the thinning effect and overthinning can occur. Cool periods followed by high temperatures can also create an overthin. Very long cloudy periods reduce photosynthesis which weakens the tree and overthinning may occur. Slow drying conditions with no wind in the cooler temperatures of the late afternoon achieve the best results. A rain-free period of about six hours is needed so that the spray agents are not washed off the tree. One of the vital rules is never re-spray. If the first spray gets washed off the tree, that's bad luck. But if you re-spray, the chances of over-thinning are great. Trees should be dry to ensure that the thinning spray is not diluted. There are various thinning agents used in South Africa. Carbaryl is the softest and safest of the chemical thinning agents. It has a wide thinning window. On the negative side, it's toxic for bees and may aggravate russet. NAD, trade named as Golden Thin, is a soft thinning agent and it's not widely used. NAA, trade named as Planifix, is a potent thinner which tends to thin off whole clusters. Treat NAA with care, especially when high temperatures prevail. 
Promelin is a very soft thinning agent. It increases fruit size and is an important spray to reduce russet on Golden Delicious. Maxell is a hormone which is registered for use on apples and pears. It does a good thinning job and is also registered for enhancing fruit size. Although blossom thinning chemicals exist, they are not used in South Africa. There is a worldwide trend to apply chemicals at petal fall when the fruitlet is 5 mm in diameter because it benefits increased fruit size in the remaining fruit by thinning early. However, the majority of chemical thinning programs are sprayed when the fruit is 7 to 12 mm in diameter. Apple cultivars are grouped according to their response to chemical thinning agents. Factors such as tree age, training systems, rootstocks and tree vigour play a very important role in the tree's response to chemical thinning. Chemical thinning recipes are not general recipes. Every season's thinning period is unique. Know your orchards and determine what program works best for an orchard. The chemical thinning recipe is different from orchard to orchard. No two orchards require the same recipe. The time of blossom, the cultivar, the slope are all factors that will change the recipe. For the best results, consult an expert. They can provide good assistance when determining the correct thinning recipe for a particular orchard.